I was born and raised as a child who learns to not disobey. Everything was perfect for me until that tragic day. Everything was a blur. I didn't have a clue. Moving to a stranger's house, I didn't know what to do. I cried a lot when I was a baby. I loved my dad, brother, three sisters and my dog Alfie. When I was five, I went into care. I was scared because you don't really know what's happening. I remember it was a Sunday morning. We got a phone call from my mum. She was very upset. So we went to see her and there was police and social workers everywhere. One morning there was an ambulance and police car outside when I woke up. A social worker came and took us all the way from the house. This is scary as we didn't know what had happened. I was at Kids Alive Club where a social worker came and said that she was taking us home. But took us to care of us, it was scary. We couldn't get our stuff or anything. We only had 20 minute notice. I was annoyed and confused. We had to sit in a room in a civic centre for three hours until the foster families were all found for us. We were split into two families. I was wondering why I was moving. That changed when I moved in. I felt a bit scared because they were new to me and I didn't know what they would be like. I felt really sad. I wouldn't speak to anyone, not even my brother. I knew what was going on. I didn't get on with my carers. It felt like they weren't being nice to me. The placement didn't go well, so we got moved to another place where I am now. I didn't feel like I fitted in, but I got moved anyway. Then I went to another foster carer. I wish I had shared how I feel more with my foster carer. I would tell other children to open up to the carers. I have a worker called Claire. She helps me with all my problems. She helps me see my mum and tells me everything that the judge says. It's a really good idea to find someone to tell how you feel. My social worker's really good. She listens to me if I'm worried. She knows without me saying anything to her. She has a worry monster. If we have worries, he eats them up. Social workers should ask and see if we're okay. Not just thrown into foster care without a notice. In school, I have someone who I can talk to and trust. She helps me to understand and let my feelings out. Sometimes the teachers shout at me and give me detention. I think the teachers need to remember that we've all got different problems. They say that they understand, but it doesn't seem that way. I think it's important that people don't judge our behaviour against other people. They don't know what we've been through. They need to take into account when we're angry or unable to control our emotions. If you had to move school, then be brave and talk to people to make friends. Think Children should get more help settling into school and to make new friends. My teacher is really nice but I keep on calling her Miss Lovely because everyone keeps on saying she's so lovely. I see my mum twice a week and my dad twice a week and have phone calls with them. That really helps. I didn't like seeing my mum cry but I think it happened for the best because it changed her completely. Now she has a new house, car and a new job. I would tell other children not to be worried about coming into foster care and to talk to other teachers when they're worried. My advice to people to go into care is, it's scary at first, but then you get used to it. One day my social worker came round and said I was going to have a visit to my new house and family on Thursday. I was excited. I remember the first day I went to my new family forever and I was given a Lego Green Lantern set of a spaceship. I was so happy. I built it straight away, but it did take me two days. It's not a sign to our future. Listen to us and let us grow. We all have potential. We all have potential. And others need to know. And others need to know. Don't let your past affect your future. Don't let your past affect your future. Don't let your bad times affect We've been doing a course called Digital Me. Helps me know how to create things. The best bit about Digital Me has been that I can express my thoughts to people who understand. I've made some good friends. The things that I enjoyed the most was getting to know everybody at first and making music at this age. 
The Digital Me course is really fun and everyone who goes there is really nice. I really enjoyed the photographer session and had fun making scanograms. Digital Me was really fun. We made avatars and made a collage about things we like. This is my avatar, I hope we like it. I liked doing the work and the best part about about it was making the collage. The thing I have enjoyed most about Digital Me has been the photography. The people who made the app that we used were so impressed with my work. They have given me a free copy of it to use myself. I think there should be more activities like this to help us make friends. The Digital Me project has been fun and hard work. I'm looking forward to seeing everybody's story. Best bit about Digital Me has been the week at the stage, writing songs about us. I learned to play the drums. and play X.